Kal halal yom lai hao bahasham shali hao shai bahasham makakwadash, which is ancient Paleo Hebrew for all praises to the Mosai Yahweh, which is his only Hebrew name. We were ignorantly called God, Jehovah, etc. In the name of Yahweh Shai, which is his son's only Hebrew name, which were ignorantly called Jesus, Yeshua, etc. All right, double honors to, to the apostles and elders of great men's stone. Salutations to the sincere Achimus, pushing the truth in the whole, pushing the truth of the Holy Bible in fear and sincerity and truth. One of the saith the Wadi Haubashim and Oshai for putting the Spirit on me for doing another lesson, to give him glory, honor, and praise. Bahasham Rakakwadash, which is in the name of his Holy Spirit. All right. Just want to do a quick lesson on righteousness and what it means to be to be and do righteousness, right? This pray just got on me. So let's get into it, alright? This is first John chapter three, verse seven. Right? It says, Let children, let no man deceive you. He that doeth righteousness is righteous, even as he is righteous. So it says little children, because when we were in the world or if we're still in the world. You know, we are naive. We think that you know everything okay. We're being taught is is right, but as we as most I wake us up and most I remove that veil, that covering cast, and he saw the so-called white face and the heathens, Moabites, try to jap um, Chinese, Ammonites, which are the Japanese and etc. All right, that covering cast whereby they create this society, this system of of. Of perverting Mosai laws and commandments, also, you know, indoctrinating our people and trying to keep us down away from Yahweh Hashem Yahushai. But you know, let's, let's, let's not get too much into that. But um, yeah, we were naive. It says, Let no man deceive you, alright? He that doeth the righteousness is righteous, even as the Mosai is righteous, or Yahweh is righteous, right? So, let's see what the scripture says is righteous. Right? Let's go to Psalms 119. My favorite chapters in Psalms. <laughs> so, yeah. 119. Verse 151, read it. And it's uh, 172. My tongue shall speak of thy word, for all thy commandments are righteousness. Alright? So if you do all the most thy commandments, you're righteous. Right? Even as he is righteous. Now, in this captivity, the so called children. Uh, the, the children of Israel which are so-called Negroes, Latinos, Hispanics, and the Confucian phases, we can't keep all the commandments, we can't keep the Sabbath. Like for example, I just came home from work and today is the Sabbath, alright? So we can't keep everything to the full ability, but scripture says in Judges 5, and we shall rehearse the righteous act. Alright? And you know, for Ham for Ham, which is grace. Wa chasad, which is a mercy in the Hebrew tongue, that you know he will justify his elect, and that's what we're striving to striving to be righteous, even as he is righteous. All right, so let's go to um, this is a scripture that came to mind through spirit. Right, let's uh, search real quick. Um, Yeah. Okay, there's another part of being righteous. You need to understand through spirit because you no, know, we're not justified by the law. Because if we're justified by the law, then why did he have a shalkim, right? Alright, this is not a scripture, but I'm going to use it, and then, oh, found the other one, this is Romans 3 and 22, 
even the righteousness of the Most High, which is by faith of Yahweh Shai Mashiach, unto all upon unto all and upon all them that believe, for there is no difference. Alright? You you also see, um seen as righteous when you believe in Yahweh Bashim Yahushai words, believe that you're in Israel, believe that salvation is only for Israel, believe that the Most High name is Yahweh Bashem Yahweh and the Son's name is Yahweh Shai. Believe that, that the Most High will save his elect and set up his kingdom and the other nations will be will, will be um will be slaves and whatnot. Right? That that belief builds your faith in trusting Yahweh Bashim Yahushai. And Yahweh loves that, right? Yahweh loves that. And in spite of in spite of you understand that you can't you can't keep it you can't be a hundred percent perfect. He loves that you you meek and humble to just believe that that he will have mercy and you will pity that as, as it says in Psalms, right? Um this is Romans four and verse one, suffering one. What shall we say then? That Abraham our father as pertaining to the flesh has found as pertaining to the flesh, so you see the possible coming to the Israel Israelites, right? For if Abraham were justified by works, he he hath will of the glory, but not before the most high. And so if you're justified by works, um he was he wouldn't be he wouldn't have been um he hath will of the glory, but not before the most high. So he couldn't have glory, right? Not before the most high. For what say the scripture? Abraham believed and it was counted unto him for righteousness. So Abraham's belief was counted as righteousness because the law wasn't fully given then. Right? So the law was a, the law is a schoolmaster for us, preparing us for rulership, preparing us to govern the entire world by Yahweh Yahushai. Alright? So brothers, you know, um keep studying, keep studying um the, the, the laws every now and then, we cap on them and you know get get um get a fee as they say, get familiar with, with with the laws. I'm not saying be like you know the Pharisees who knew every law by heart and whatnot, but the spirit will lead you to learn these laws and the laws that we can do in these in these last days so that you know we can stay in the spirit, right? Uh, the spirit is show me another uh you me another precept. This is um Joshua one and eight. This book of the law shall not depart out of thy mouth, right? But thou shalt meditate there in day and night that thou mayest observe to do all to observe to do according to all that is written therein for then thou shalt make thy way prosperous and then thou shalt have good success and what's what's what what greatest success is your own salvation right and then uh read the precept this is one and one um ah yeah that's the spirit love righteousness ye that be judges of the earth think of Yahweh with a good heart and in simplicity of heart seek him Right. So when 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 you be as righteous as Yahweh Hashem Yahushai righteous is righteous, you know, the Mosai will sup with you, right? Because it says in verse two, he will be found, he will be found of them that tempt him not and shew himself unto such as do not distrust and shew him and sheweth himself unto such as do not distrust him, right? So that belief and that and that um, diligence and that heartfelt um, feeling to obey Heavenly Father is um, is essential in this church, you know. That yo, know, Father, I know that um, I messed up. I'm just praying that you help me to do the right thing. How about you, Moshe? Right. Alright, and um, with that, I pray that this lesson is very fine. Um, all praise to the Haobashim, Yahushai, Bahashim, Kakwadash, that will answer the apostles and elders of great in stone. And salutations, peace and blessings.
and hopefully let the sense of hakim akwa, and especially treat the whole body. Stay strong, stay focused. Shalom.